Well, gentlemen, I have to thank you for all of your insight and knowledge on the mangosteen and also add, do you have any other comments? Abby, I, uh, one of the reasons why I'm very, uh, I'm very passionate about studying this fruit is that I grew up in a family that was very... Uh, herbal LG's, gerbil. Yeah, herbal gerbil, I think, yeah. is a good word. I use that affectionately, herbal gerbilish. We had, I took herbal vitamins with my breakfast every day. We had homemade yogurt, a wheat grinder to make our own wheat, to make our own bread. One of the first water purification systems that was the size of a small Volvo that stuck into our front sink. And we had very, a, a family, we had grown vegetables and so forth. I grew up taking herbs and never really taking medications. I went off to college and in going through graduate school, uh, my mind, I, I kept seeing different things with herbs and uh, a lot of herbal products and companies on television and in the marketplace just advertising just outrageous claims that an herb could make you lose weight and it can help you grow hair and can make you, they're just, the claims were limitless. And I really became a little disenchanted with certain herbal companies. I got very excited about the mangosteen fruit because I've always believed herbs work. I still take herbs to this day and supplement. But here's an herbal supplement that science is validating, that science is demonstrating it has anti-inflammatory properties and because of A, B, and C, and here's the mechanism and this is how it works and this is the potential that it has in healthcare in the future. And I was very intrigued and continually impressed with this science research and if people have o and if people are skeptical of herbs i say wonderful that's what you really need to be there's so much garbage that can come out in the name of complementary or herbal medicine but i tell them if you if you research this and you take a look you'll see for yourself that the science is valid and that the mangosteen really does have a lot of uh, helpful benefits in in your health Thank you, Dr. Morton. Well, Dr. Templeman, do you have any closing comments? Well, what I'd say about the mangosteen is this. I'm so hot on the mangosteen that I think you should be putting it in your shampoo, slathering it on your skin, putting it in your bath water. You have to be kidding. Yes, <laughs> of course. No, I, I don't say that this is going to replace drugs. I still use drugs. I still write prescriptions. I believe that there is a place for drugs but we have overused drugs and they are dangerous. And there is a place for something which can do the same things that drugs can do without the risks of drugs. And that is the place of the mangosteen. For me as a doctor who has to confront conditions for which I may not have an effective treatment based on my studies and on my training, the mangosteen offers a real opportunity, safe, efficacious, and I'm enthusiastic about the possibility of it for the future.